Hello everyone, back to another video. And today I'm showing you how to create a webhook in Discord that shows when someone bought a game pass in your game. Um, this was requested in my Discord server. You can join in the link in the description below and request stuff yourself, and I might make a video out of it. So let me just put Discord over here. Um, the first step, you're obviously gonna need your webhook, and you're also gonna need my webhook service module that I put the description of. I put the link in the description below. Uh, this is just a very simple way of um, sending webhook requests. So you don't have to like keep typing it out over and over and make sure you just put this in service cup service or service storage anywhere. That's not that the client can't see. So you want to go to your server and you want to go to server settings. You want to head to integrations and then webhooks and then create a webhook. I already have one created right here. It's called game pass. Set it to your channel. And yeah, now um, you want to click copy webhook URL right here and then create a script in server script service and you can name that whatever you want so we want to create we're going to have to use the proxy for it like since i made a lot of videos explaining on how discord blocked uh roblox for using the webhooks but this module has the proxy link right here that we can just copy so you want to create a variable for your webhook so you just want to type local url equals and then paste your webhook like that and I'm going to go to the module and copy this webhook dot that dot dev and just copy that. This is going to be our proxy, which will allow us to use the webhook. And where it says discord.com right here, you want to go ahead and replace that with that proxy. And then it'll work just as if it was discord.com. Now we want to define our product or our game pass ID, which is the one we're going to be prompting the player. I'm going to be prompting the player on join. You can prompt the player however you want. You can prompt it like when they press a button, however you wish. Um, so we just want to do local game pass ID equals here. I just named it something random troll and just put a troll face. You want to copy the ID and you want to paste it in this variable right here. Now you want to define marketplace service. This is what we're going to use to prompt the game pass purchase and get the product ID info. So let's just do uh, local market service equals game get service marketplace service just like that and now what we want to do is check when the player joins and then we're going to prompt them to buy the game pass so we can just do uh game dot players dot player added checking when the player gets added connect function and then in this function right here in these parentheses you want to put anything that will basically be the player so type player and this will be the player who joined the game and then we can do now now we have to prompt the purchase so we can do marketplace service prompt game pass purchase now we want to pass the player in the game pass id so just type player and then game pass id just like that and then that is done for that um for that function now i'm going to check when we want to check when uh, a prompt purchase is like when someone actually buys the game pass we can just do that by doing um marketplace service dot prompt game pass purchase finished connect function and there's going to be three variables for this player game pass id and was purchased so let's just pass player id and then is p for just is purchased this is going to be a boolean value which is basically just true or false checking if the player actually bought it or not so let's just do if is p then so if it is purchased then uh we actually want to define the webhook service module up here too so just do local uh webhook service equals require and then wherever you put the module so just uh i put it in server script service so i'm just going to do uh, script.parent.webhookservice now back down here if is purchase then webhook service create message and this is going to create just a simple message you can also do an embed too but i'm just going to do the message for simplicity uh pass the url with your proxy now we're going to type the message in the second parameter is the message it's going to be simple i'm just going to player.name as purchased 
And instead of putting the game pass ID, like I did in one of my videos before, I'm going to do the actual name and we can do that by marketplace service, get product info. So we can do marketplace service, uh, get product info, game pass ID. And then the next parameter is going to be the info type. So it actually knows like what the info is. So enum.info type dot game pass or whatever you made it, you can make it a dev developer product, but since the game pass, we're just going to do game pass dot name, and then it'll get the game pass name. So, uh, let me delete this from my inventory. Cause I actually, I already don't have it. So let's go ahead and click play and it's going to prompt us to buy it. So would you like to buy the item troll for five Robux? You click buy purchase succeeded. And then it'll send, you see right here, it says in the discord server, Lewis escape has purchased troll. Um, this is going to automatically send for any web or any, uh, game pass you, uh, have just make sure you put the ID in, just do it like that. How I just showed you, um, you can format this like any way you wish. Uh, I'm just going to do it like that simply. And like I said before, you can just make it a button, you can do it however you want. But yeah, that's going to be all for this video. Um, if you need, if you have any questions, you can either leave a comment below or join my Discord server.